This is Damon Stephen with Finroll Builders, and today is Thursday, February 3rd, 2022. And the uh, market did exactly what we talked about last night in our video. It uh, definitely took a break uh, and took a rest here. It actually uh, went negative. So, um, you know, and earnings continues to come out. And boy, does it create a roller coaster in the marketplace. So let's get into it. Take a look at what's going on and what we can plan for as we come to the close of this week. Uh, so looking at the market, uh, Dow Jones closed down 1.45%, NASDAQ down 3.74%, and S&P 500 down 2.44%. So this uh, volatility is not done for sure. Uh, looking at the heat map here, you can definitely see, uh, you know, the FANG stocks were down pretty much across the board. We're mostly down. Um, energy, I'll show you in a minute. Still doing well, but uh, yeah, for the rest of the market, it was pretty well ended on a down down day. Uh, small caps also, there's nothing hot in the scanner either. So we're just trading some core stocks and a lot of it's been focused on earnings uh, this time of year. And uh, looking at the earnings today, uh, you can see that uh, we had uh, Ford, Lilly, Activision. Uh, we also had uh, Amazon re uh, reporting and so, that uh, made a big, huge difference here. So let's get into look at some of these charts. And this color here that you're seeing here, just so you know, this is Fibonacci. So I put in Fibonacci just to add a little color uh, and also hopefully to show, you know, kind of more patterns and how they fall within the market. So I just threw this on Google. Google came out with their earnings earlier. Uh, we watched this huge rally that we've had basically from, you know, this uh, 2,500 clear, you know, clear up to 3000 and really this huge bar. We talked about this in the video that more than likely we're going to see this retrace back down over the next few days. If it didn't continue to go higher and hit our support trend line here at this high right here at 3035, which it did not. And you see it started to retrace and actually, you know, it almost it broke slightly below our support line here, you know, around this 2800 level and then bounced back up. So we're kind of sitting here around, uh, you know, this 2,900 level, uh, but, you know, we still are, uh, are, you know, still elevated on here. And you can see here that uh, across here that, you know, it could consult it here for a while if it wanted to. Um, so we'll see if it continues to break down and, and come back down and test this 10 again, or if it can stay above all the moving averages and possibly rally back up. So it just kind of depends what the market's doing. But regardless, you know, Google's really, uh, really kind of rocketed back up. Uh, into uh, a bullish uh, format here. So we've stayed, you know, a few days over all the moving averages. So Google could definitely uh, start to go higher. Uh, Snap. So Snap uh, was one that had earnings. And you see here with the Fibonacci, it kind of shows you kind of just overall general ranges uh, that the stock traded in. And you can see here uh, that, you know, typically Snap was falling, finding support on our support line here. Uh, and at the bottom of all the Fibonacci levels here, all the retracements uh, clear down to zero. And so you can see here that, you know, after at the earnings here, you know, we actually dropped below it uh, the, and the uh, last couple of days. And so, you know, we found support down here and then you can see this huge rally here after hours, uh, basically, you know, from 24 back up to 38. So a huge run. So we'll see if we hold this tomorrow. Again, you know, very much like Google, which is why I wanted to show you Google. We could retrace back down about 50% uh, and then possibly rally back up uh, or we could, you know, come down further. Uh, but, uh, you know, more than likely, I wouldn't see us coming down. We should find support here at the 50 moving average, uh, if not rally back up to the 100. So we'll see what happens, uh, but that's a possibility for tomorrow. So we're watching kind of, Price action of whether we start to go north or south, and then determine, you know, which which, you know, resistance or resistance or support we're going to find uh, tomorrow. So Amazon, Amazon, big old huge news. Everybody liked the earnings. Uh, you see here that we were kind of hovering right below this lowest Fibonacci at zero, and uh, we kind of and we kind of bounced off of it, came back down tapped it, you know, at the earnings call and then boom, all the way up to just below the 100 moving average. So huge, huge move, you know, it's at one point when it spiked up, you know, we're looking at, you know, 400 plus points uh, on a spike up. So that's amazing. Amazon just really rocketed back up past, 
you know, it really just blew through all these lines, especially even this one here where we just barely had found resistance on the 50 blew right through it. So, you know, could we retrace? We could possibly pull back and run back up again, uh, or we could just kind of start to retrace and maybe find some support down here. So we'll see what Amazon does tomorrow. It, uh, you know, very well, since it spiked the 200, could try to get back to the 200 where resistance is. But boy, what a run on Amazon. So that one was good. Looking forward to tomorrow morning to cash out uh, a call I have on Amazon too uh, that I uh, had on for earnings. So uh, it should be a good, good day tomorrow. Uh, Facebook. So Facebook, uh, you can see here, you know, they had, uh, you know, a bad report and boy, they just fell through. You see the Fibonacci levels, they just blew right through like it was nothing. Uh, so blew through all of our support lines all the way down here past this breakout area that we had before it, all the way to the bottom, spiked it, came back up, and it's still sitting here below our support line uh, here at uh, 245. So, you know, can it get back above there and, and start to rally back up and retrace some of this and get back at least to, you know, 289? Uh, you know, that's to be seen. But right now, it's uh, very weak. So just be careful if you're trading this one. It can chop you out of your money if you're not careful. Uh, because there's not a clear trend uh, direction on Facebook right now. So we'll see what tomorrow brings with all this good news. See if that brings, you know, a little bit back to Facebook or not. Uh, we'll just be careful with that stock. Um, Apple kind of consolidating right here, still above all the moving averages. So it's still bullish, just not moving. McDonald's, same here, consolidating. Boeing, still consolidating quite a long time here. So obviously this should be a bull flag to break out, uh, but we'll see. Uh, you know, if it stays here too long, it's going to find weaknesses. It's going to have to come down, find some support, and then bounce out. Exxon, mobile, you know, still working its way up there. We talked about you know this level here hitting our resistance level on this Fibonacci 8150, and then also you know trying to get up here to this 95 area. So we'll see if it continues to climb. But boy, energy just continues to climb, hitting new highs. And so is the gas prices. Uh, so Tesla. So Tesla, we see here uh, that Tesla is just kind of flat here, consolidating. Uh, you know, it needs it get bumped up and try to get above. You know, up to the the 100 here, and then failed. You know, when it got above 900, I was hoping it was going to hold that and close above it. If it closed above it, then we could start to head back towards you know 960, you know 1000. And if we get 1000, then we can start to really get into bullish momentum again. Uh, but closing below 900 uh, makes me a little nervous. Uh, 880 was like kind of lined in the sand. So we'll see if it can get back above there in the morning. If it doesn't, it could pull back to the 200. And there's also a gap down there to fill. So just be aware of that, that uh, if we can't get over 900, we may be falling back towards you know, 860, 840. Nvidia pulled up here, failed at the 100 come back down here. Um, it's just below these moving averages. So it's just, you know, between the all the moving averages and the 200. So if uh, we get continued weakness in Nevada or in NVIDIA and the uh, market tomorrow, we could come back down here and retest this 200. Netflix, Netflix tried to rally up. Uh, I took, it hit our resistance line here and failed. It came back all the way back down. So definitely, you know, Netflix showing still some weakness there not quite ready. So it's back at our support line. So hopefully this will hold, allow us to bounce back up, get above that 200 and close above that 200 again. Our case, so it hit the 200 and bounced off that. So definitely that was resistance then on the 200, bounce back down. We'll see if it can hold. If it continues, it could possibly go down here to, you know, 60 or down to this Fibonacci level down here around 56. So just keep an eye on that. In your uh, yield, uh, you can see here, just consolidating here. Um, so not much to say there. US oil, we talked about hitting our trend line. So it's it's getting closer and closer. I said 93 to 94, maybe 95 if it took too long. But you see, it's been working its way up to this trend line just as it had before. So this was 77, 85, this should be around 94. A uh, dollar, it's just been consolidating, pulled back. Try to break out, failed, came back down. Uh, so it's right here on the 100. So dollar still kind of sitting down there in, in a weaker area. 
VIX bounce off. We talked about this last night. Hopefully that it didn't bounce off this 50 and start to rally back up. So it's right above the 20, uh, 20 moving average, which I don't like. We'll see tomorrow if we can break back down. If we get back above here, uh, 25 here, more than likely, it's going to definitely be another down day tomorrow. Spy, try to rally, uh, try to get above the uh, the 50 moving average, which would have been great. That would have been bullish and could have started momentum moving back towards the high side. It failed, came down. We've retraced about you know almost half of this candle. So does it retrace tomorrow? Clear down this 41.27 area, 411.27. Uh, it's hard to say, but definitely watch the price action in the morning, pre-market. Uh, if it, if there's one weakness, it's possible you could come back. Uh, if we get some good news and they really do like what Amazon did, we could possibly try to run up here and try to retag that uh, 100 and capture it. If we can get above it and close above it, then that helps us to kind of move back to a bullish uh, momentum. Triple Qs, Triple Qs, same thing. Came up towards, towards that 200 and failed. Came back down. So we're below all the moving averages. So definitely bearish on the Triple Qs right now. Semiconductors, same thing. Failed at the 20, came back down to 100, or the 200. So trying to find support on that 200. Hopefully we can bounce off that. A Dow Jones, same thing, rallied up. Failed, came back down. Sitting below, you know, the, you know, the 50, the 100, and the 20, and the 10. So hopefully we can find support bounce here. If not, 200's back in the, back in line to come down to. IWM, try to rally up, get above the five, the moving averages here, the five, and fail, then came back down below the 100. So the 200's down here. So weakness back in IWM. So, you know, we could possibly go revisit some lows here. Uh, financials, financials, uh, try to rally up here, failed, still above all the moving averages, which is good. If we can bounce off of here, we continue to move higher. Uh, energy, energy continues to go up. It's almost at the top of this trend line, as we talked about before uh, with Exxon. So um, definitely energy is doing very well. Bitcoin fell through. Now it's popping back up. You know, this could make a secondary trend line is what I'm thinking. Uh, we can see it. That's still very weak, so I, I don't necessarily like that. Um, the weakness I've seen here, but um, you know, we'll see. We'll see if this uh, can hold. But you know, it could be creating. I'm just going to draw this in here, just rough it in for now. But you can see we could possibly create another trend line up and then possibly pop out. So we'll see what Bitcoin decides to do. But the cryptos are still weak. Leo's kind of trying to consolidate. ETC trying to pop up here. It did make some progress today, but it's right here where it was before. So let me draw this line in so you got a visual. So we tried to get over this section right here before. Let me see a couple of days ago that we failed to get above there. So um, today we tried it again and we're just sitting right underneath there. So if we break out, then we go try to retest the 50. Ethereum, same thing, kind of got blocked by the 20. Uh, so consulting here over here, we got about four days under there. And then CRO, try to, to rally up here, failed. Just sitting here under the, all the moving averages, trying to break through. So uh, until Bitcoin can give us some momentum and help us out, uh, you know, these, we might be staying a little more flat. So looking for new opportunities out there. Uh, but uh, stay safe out there. Come to close the week. Make sure you're careful about what you carry over the week. If you're long, you know, then, you know, you got, you got to just look at the market and hope that, you know, that we can recover here and get back bullish again. Cause I you know it looks like you take a big hit on your, your long-term portfolio, but uh, you know, it's uh, should be temporary. I mean, at the end of the day, the market has always ended up and hopefully that remains the case. So um, stay safe out there, make sure you're locking in profits along the way, especially if you're day trading or swing trading or, you know, scalping at this market, which today was a good scalping day until the end of the day uh, before we got really a, a good run. So just be safe out there and uh, we will get you prepped for next week and enjoy your weekend.